I have been programming since last 17 years and based on that experience, I am going to share with you seven effective tips that you can use to make your code development faster. When you're writing code, usually you write a few lines of code, run it, see if it works okay. Usually things don't work okay on first attempt, correct? So you fix the bug, you again run it, then you write new code, again run it. It's a set of iterations that you go through throughout the day. So if you learn how to reduce the time it takes for individual iteration, or if you can reduce number of iterations, then it's gonna be super helpful. Number one is productivity setup, and that includes hardware and software both. I have this dual screen system where in one screen I will be writing my code, in the other one I will see the output, I will execute my screen and see what happens, I will have my browser open and so on. Having these two big screen is very very helpful, I also have a very convenient keyboard that can help as well. Of course your system needs to have good memory, SSD, it should be a powerful system so that whenever you are running your code it executes really fast, good internet speed obviously. So having a good hardware setup is number one thing. Number two is software tools. There are AI powered uh, tools which helps you write code and we are going to look into the two tools, uh, GitHub Copilot and Kite. GitHub Copilot is an amazing AI based productivity tool which can convert comments into a functioning code. Let me just demo it. So when I replay here, you wrote this comment, whether the sentiment of text is positive or not, and it actually wrote the code for you. You will find many such examples such as if you want to find average runtime of successful runs in seconds. When you write this comment and when you write this function name the rest of it it will auto complete and it is doing this based on the ai engine that they have built on millions of lines of code on github you can see other examples as well such as for example this and let's say you're writing markers for different languages javascript python and so on when you type these two line it will automatically know that you might include more languages and it will write after two lines the remaining lines are written by github copilot you can also write function name it will detect your intention and it will give you different suggestions because same function can be written in multiple ways when you click on next see it will give you different suggestion on writing same function and these are valid function it will function fine when you say accept it will Put that code into your IDE. The tool is recently released so you need to join the bait their waiting list basically so click on sign up join their waiting list but at some point in future it will be available for all. Kite is another productivity tool similar to github pilot where when you type writing code for example as you can see here if you are going through all the files in a directory in python it will try to identify your intent and it will do auto completion of code on be on your behalf this is ai powered tool which works really well i personally use it and it increases your productivity it gets integrated really well with pycharm vs code vim majority of the editors you can download it for free from kite.com website and start using it in your ide it to be obviously using a better IDE, for example, VS Code, PyCharm are the one that I like personally. People we use Sublime, even Vim. I interviewed Pablo Galindo, who is a Python Council member. He's a person who writes Python programming language and he uses Vim because Vim, if you're good with keyboard shortcuts, I've seen these programmers who are super fast and you don't see them using mouse. They know all the keyboard shortcuts and they can write code really super fast. Second one is brainstorming and coming up with a design plan before you write your first line of code. I have seen programmers who are given Jira task and they just immediately start typing code. That's not a good approach. It's like building a home. If you are designing a home, if you have a good design, you will have less issues later. Similarly, Think about the design of your software with your teammates, do some whiteboarding session, draw technical architecture diagram, data pipeline, information flow, class design, whatever. But do enough brainstorming with your friends so that 
you can come up with good design and then you will not have to make uh, many changes later on i have seen cases where you don't do enough brainstorming you write let's say thousand line of code then you go to your friend for a code review and the person will be like oh this is not a correct design or they will say there is a ready made library available why are you writing this code now you just wasted hours and hours of your time so therefore it's important that we brainstorm and do design discussion in advance having sound knowledge of data structure and algorithm is super important it goes by einstein saying about politics is for the moment and it equation is for eternity similarly data structures doesn't matter what programming language it is python java tomorrow five new programming language come up but, but data structures will remain same your trees hash map uh, you know graph these are the essential data structure and if you have a good understanding of these it will help you write better code for data structure all goes i have a complete playlist in python super easy to understand with exercises so you can follow that good understanding of software architecture and design pattern is equally important i usually follow martin fowler's blog he's a well known software architect and i read his articles and get my understanding clear on various software architecture patterns that are going in the industry and that really helps build a better software architecture wise there are so many books out there as well and if i'm doing solo programming writing my own functions you know little snippet of the code i have a habit of using pen and a paper and i draw out my plan see that's very important i write down my plan that this is how i'm going to do my programming and then only i start writing code I have a friend whose team works in React JS and couple of other web technologies. Every time they were writing a new project, they would do same kind of setup again and again. So to automate that thing, what they did is they wrote this cookie cutter tool where you run a simple command and it builds the whole project skeleton structure for you. It will set up folders, create scripts, write files with small code snippets, etc. That way in the future now they have a new react js project they can use this tool and get that whole skeleton ready manually doing that would take you few minutes now it is done in few seconds so that's tip number 3 automate your daily repetitive task you can automate a lot of things through ci cd pipeline as well you can have a pipeline which runs let's say your 200 test on every commit and now that is saving you a lot of time on running these tests manually Making wise use of Google and ready-made libraries is tip number four. You need to know how to use Google or how to ask a question in a right way. Many times you are trying to do something, you type that in Google, and most likely you'll find an answer on Stack Overflow where you get a ready-made code snippet. I'm not saying blindly copy it, understand it, but you can make good or use of other people's work. Same applies for the ready made libraries once i wanted to write a retry logic in my python code so we are calling http server it is failing and we want to retry it after 2 second and let's say after 7 attempts we want to give up now i wrote that code manually but later on i realized there is a library called tenacity in python where if you want to try let's say 7 attempts and then give up you can do it with single line of annotation on top of your function so making good use of google and ready made library can improve your speed like anything sometimes i think as a programmers we are like plumbers you know we take ready made components from different places we assemble them together we are like assembly people you know we assemble them and we create a full pipeline where data can flow thoroughly and you get an expected output think about the software program that you're writing as a big problem and usually we try to divide big problem into small problems and those small problems could be your functions your classes the components that you're writing so that's tip number 5 divide and conquer first you divide it into small sub tasks then you complete one sub task at a time and when you're doing that don't overthink about the bigger problem because that will negatively impact your productivity you can use test driven development to test each individual components make sure they are giving the 
expected output and then as i said before you are an assembly person who is just joining those small working piecing pieces together to create a big working software you all already know what is number one productivity killer it is this stupid phone you get distracted so much because of the phone that it negatively impacts your programming productivity usually when we are doing intense coding we need to have few hours of distraction free time you know almost like a distraction free zone where no one is disturbing us we are in our own zone and just focusing on our program if you're getting distracted by meetings usually what i do is on google calendar or whatever calendar you're using book a time slot where you have distraction free coding time for example morning 9 to 12 if you have booked it as coding hours or wherever it could be in, in during the time then during that time people will not schedule meeting with you and you can focus in your work now keeping away this cell phone is very important because if i'm writing a code if i face an error and if it's a complex error my brain will tell me hey this is too complex my brain wants to go to an easy place and he'll say oh why don't you check facebook whatsapp or news and once i go that route by the time i come back i have already spent half an hour 40 minutes you know it's a big killer of your time another tip is i have seen some folks what they do is they come to office literally they adjust their working hours so when they come literally let's say instead of 9 they come at 8 or 7 30 you get that time window where there is no distraction no one has scheduled meetings there are not many people in the office you can really focus well so finding those time duration tweaking your work schedule in a way that uh, you can focus is going to be extremely crucial and in the morning when your brain is fresh maybe you want to work on your intense coding problems let's say you're writing some complex code you know i generally do it in the morning in the afternoon or in the evening maybe you can schedule your usual maintenance work or meetings and so on so you know tweaking your schedule is going to be super useful the last tip is having good debugging skills really helps you improve your coding workflow there are people who have been programming for years and they don't know even what is conditional breakpoint by the way if you don't know it i have a video on what is conditional breakpoint i use that all the time and conditional breakpoint is just one thing there are so many other cool debugging techniques so when i'm writing code when i run it if i'm facing error if i have good debugging skill i can figure out the problem really fast fix it and move on you know that way my overall development speed increases these were seven tips which i used in my professional career and i have seen tremendous benefit out of it if i have missed any tips then that you think could be useful then please post in a comment below and try these seven tips out and and let me know how it goes